haven't. Take a gander at the cool stuff you sent me on that one. Cool oh. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was like a music director, so I was like 21. That was when I like started getting letters a lot. Kind of shocking, excited, and kind of flattering too that these people are writing me, and especially the one fan. I think it was pretty cool more than anything. Well, the first time I got it was like my during my very early show, because like when you were training, uh, when I was training, it was like I got six to eight a.m. on Sunday mornings, and so I had to wake up at like five and come here. Then I got one, and it was like. Lionel was like re listening to my show at six in the morning, which I was like, no one listens to this show. <laughs> the radio at six in the morning on Sundays. But I was, I was probably just super stoked because it like had my DJ name on it. And I was just like, someone actually cared enough to write me a letter. So definitely just super excited. Oh my goodness. Like they did all this for me and I'm like reading through it. And I felt like it added like validity to what I was doing. And it felt special. And it was like a very meaningful relationship that was that had begun from there so it was great people um especially the people who write me are older and they were part of the punk generation and part of the rock generation um and grew up listening to that music and i think when they hear it on a college radio they're like cool these college kids are still listening to the music i used to listen to i always felt like okay i want people to feel like they're hanging out with me when they listen to my radio show and i think that they felt that and you know, they're like people that go into solitary and all this like messed up stuff, like prison life. And then it feels like, oh, like you're, I'm hanging out with them.